Hello everybody, David here with Shadow Six Creations. It's been a minute since I've been able to sit down and uh, do a video and start a model. So, sorry about that, this moving thing has been kind of nuts. Um, I want to first, first and foremost, I would want to say, um, anybody who's on the East Coast, um, I hope you all are safe. I've been in touch with some of the guys that I was in the army with, hearing how bad it's been. Um, my heart goes out to all of you. So I sincerely hope that you're safe. I hope everything is going well. That being said, um, let's go ahead and do get a model going for you, for everybody, to give you something to think about other than what's going on with the hurricanes right now. Um, obviously, it's not going to be possible to completely not think about it but um, I'm here for for my viewers and my subscribers um, so let's get started USS Arizona I have to wait for some parts to come in um, missing a few things on this particular kit so I got another one coming it'll be here in a couple of days but in the meantime um, I want to do something a little bit different um, We've done tanks, we've done airplanes, we've done... We are doing a ship. Hello, Rashi Dog. And, of course, my ever-loyal minion has come in. But, what about something a little bit different? Uh, so, let's try this out. Today marks the day that we're starting. The ever-famous Huey. Um... Still in use today, saw extensive use in the Vietnam War. Um, very distinct sound. And armed to the teeth as always. Uh, definitely looking forward to this. I'm definitely looking forward to this model. Um, this I got at Hobby Lobby uh, during their 40% off. Um, as a matter of fact, let's kind of see if we can change the view here a little bit for everybody. There we go. So yes, this is the UH-1, the Huey gunship. Still used today. It is still used today. It's just a different version of it now. Uh, look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I did attempt to do one of these before, so I have a little bit of an idea what we're going to be doing with it. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, as I was moving things around, it decided to break on me. So I gave it to my buddy for it to use for some Necromunda kit bashing. And I decided to get another one. Uh, this is a really fun kit. It really is. So let's... Oh, they're right here. Goodness gracious. Alright, let's dig right into this. So the UH-1 Huey was, uh, as many know, saw extensive use in the Vietnam War uh, for the cavalry divisions, air cavalry, uh, medical dust off. Um, quite a few of these aircraft were shot down uh, during the war, but an amazing aircraft. I mean, it is so versatile. Um, one of my favorites, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a classic American military helicopter. So this one is... Uh, this is going to be fun. So it looks like Ravel 5536 is going to be the kit. And like I said, this one I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Hobby Lobby does keep these in stock and they're, they're a fun helicopter. Not too much in the way of paint that you'll need. Um, so if you want to go out and grab this model, I definitely encourage you to do it. Um, yeah, this is going to be a good, this is going to be a good fun helicopter. So let's get in here and just take a look at it. Uh, we're going to look this over before we do anything. So, um, I'll give you that way. You guys can have a couple of days to get the kit if you want. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this. There are a couple different versions of this. Um, one of them is the Canadian version. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I just forgot where that's at. What color that is. So you have, so here on the end, you have the Canadian Rescue. Um, I believe it is yellow. And then we have the U.S. Military. 
So I will be doing this in the U.S. military colors. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, first things first, let's get this out. This is a good size helicopter kit. Uh, we've got all of our decals here. Oh, and I am about to throw things on the floor, which is a bad thing. Beautiful, beautiful decals. You got the first cav right there. Um, those are all of our decals. We got the American side. Of course, we got the Canadian side as well. Um, really good, really good uh, decals. And I also have an extra set sitting out there as well. So let's get this bad boy out of the way and let's go ahead and start breaking this down and looking at it. So this is a decent sized model. Um, I think this is uh, around, this is close to 14 inches long. So a good size helicopter, a uh, good size model. Let's just, let's go back and take that. So this one looks like it's got some excess from the casting, from the molding a little bit. Uh, it's okay, we'll trim that down as we go along. So here's your floors. Uh, it's got a variety of weapon systems. Um, I will tell you from the previous one that I've done, uh, the rotor system is probably gonna be one of the hardest to do, so you have to be very, very careful with this particular model. So it's got a couple of crew members, a couple of pilots, and uh, those are those are fun and easy to put together. There's your rotor blades, uh, tail rotor system, missiles. You got your skid, um, and then we've got the doors as well. And the doors, oh goodness gracious! I know, I know, Rashi. I bumped the table. It scared you, didn't it? it scared me too. But for this, um, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I'm going to give you kind of a rundown on how I'm going to be doing this. So if you want to do this the same way, if you want to do the Canadian version, um, putting it together is going to be all the same, but I will be painting this in the American military scheme. So um, that's just so, just so everybody's aware. So what I'm going to be doing with this, uh, what we'll be doing is some of these will go ahead and... Um, get ready for prime and spray. So this will be in the traditional uh, olive drab of the US military. I don't have a can of it with me, but I do have a couple cans out in my the stuff that I'm getting packed up for the house. Uh, rotor blades are gonna be just a straight black. So we'll definitely need to be careful of using too much, too little. Watch your mating surfaces, the when you're putting the plastic together. Um, keep those areas clean as best you can. Um, sometimes, oh, wait a minute here. And there's some defects in this kit right there. So we'll just have to carefully, I'm gonna have to keep a careful eye on those because I might, Depending on how it goes together, I might have to get a replacement skid, which wouldn't be too hard. Okay. So yeah, when you're when you're looking at this, or when you got your new model, you know, give it a good look over, look for any parts that are damaged or missing, um, new things that I'm doing to keep, uh, it's just good practice to look everything over. Um, some of these from the casting process just have some excess plastic on it. That's not bad at all. So let's lay out the plan. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing uh, when I start getting the video going is we are going to be focusing on the, the floor and the cockpit of the aircraft. So that's going to be fairly quick and easy. Um, what I'll be doing is, like I said, uh, I believe I've said before, I will be priming this in black um, with Chaos Black. That's what I have from uh, Citadel Line. That's what I use for all my Necromunda and Warhammer models. Um, if I have enough, that is. If not, I have a different one that I can use. Um, the reason I use Citadel is, here's a prime example. If you look at a... Uh, Space Marine Scout that I have, the detail 
and it's kind of hard to see in the video, I know, but the details that that primer brings out is just absolutely amazing. Um, I highly recommend using the Citadel primers. Uh, they just go on so smooth. The details that come out, uh, very high quality. They're a little bit pricier than some other spray paints that you may use, but I'll tell you this, the Citadel line is very worth it. So let's kind of give you, let's kind of give a rundown here. Uh, like I said, I've done this model before. Uh, pretty much had it 90% together, but unfortunately it fell and broke and damaged uh, while I was getting stuff packed. So unfortunate. So right here you'll have, uh, this will be the cockpit where the pilots will be. Uh, you've got the, um, this will be the back part of the actual aircraft along with this. Um, if there are any Vietnam era veterans that are watching these videos, um, you know, definitely, uh, definitely pop in and say hi. I mean, I, I hope this brings back some good memories. Everybody knows how bad the Vietnam War was. Um, and my props to you brothers for, for going out there and doing it. So that's kind of how that'll work. Uh, quick and easy to do. Then we have this point, we have some, the actually have the doors. The doors will actually slide open, which is so cool to have. Um, then we have the bit of the engine that we'll start putting together. So the, the main fuselage, the one thing I recommend doing is fitting it together just to see how it's going to be and how it's going to look. Um, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do now, if I can find my clippers, oh, there they are. I'm actually going to pop the body off right now because I want to do a good fit. I want to do a dry fitting to see if there's going to be any real imperfections. So we'll do that. Like I said, this is almost a 14 inch long model. Okay. Let's see, let's, I'm out of frame for a moment, so give me just a second here. I will be right back. Beautiful. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit tricky. Now be aware that if you decide to take this off to dry fit it, there are parts right there. Have to be very, very careful with that. So these little imperfections I'll smooth down and I will probably be doing some prep work on this before the next video. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some imperfections on this. That's okay. And I've got some stuff that I use to fill up the gaps. And that's not too terrible, actually. So it's always a good process to dry fit. Give you kind of them, but also give you an idea of what you're looking at for the model. Uh, this is gonna be fun. This is definitely gonna be fun. Um, I'm also still working on the Kiowa. Um, it's been a minute since I've done anything on that, but uh, by duty you jump back on there and get that going. Um, been wanting to do one of those for years since I got back from Iraq, but I digress. So that's kind of what we're looking at um, as far as the model. So, uh, like I said, this is just an introduction, um, just an introduction to the new set that we're going to do. Uh, like I said, the Arizona, we're not giving up on it. We got some stuff coming in to, for some replacement parts, and we're going to be putting that together, um, to get that finished as well. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this is the Ravel, um... UH-1D Huey, 
and this is what we're going to be doing for for our current model project um so go out find this model if you want to do it that way you can follow along um so again like and subscribe you know definitely like doing these videos for everybody and like i said for those that are affected by the hurricanes please be safe my heart and thoughts go out to all of you uh so i hope everything will be well um and i will see everybody in a while